Christmas. Joyeux Noël. Feliz Navidad. Well, I know it's not Christmas now anymore, but it doesn't matter. My friend Emily Davison wrote on my wall asking a couple questions. I'll answer the second question first. Whereabouts will you slash have you shopped for Boxing Day? What are the best stores to shop on a student budget? For Ottawa, because it's not necessarily the greatest place to go shopping. But anyway, it's not important. Um, some stores I'd suggest to check out on Boxing Day would be Aritzia because sometimes they have just Boxing Day sales just on that one day. Maybe Club Monaco or Zara. That's probably the places where I'm going to check out tomorrow morning. Maybe some Urban Outfitters up as well. They usually have some pretty good deals on their sale items already. So that's probably what I'm, I'm going to take a look at in the morning. Next question was... Uh, would you be able to do a hair-based tutorial? My hair is permanently straight, but is fairly thick. I'm challenged and can't find anything that is easily enough for me to do. That would be wonderful. Well, as you may be able to tell, I have very curly hair. Well, it's pretty wavy. Um, it's not thick. I just have a lot of it. I usually wear my hair uh, usually middle parted and because I still have kind of bangs, like shorter bits in the front, I'll twist them and like bobby pin them in the back, give it a bit of a hippie look. But a fun way to do it, so take top part here, two bits, you'll twist them like that, you'll grab the second one, grab a pea, small piece of hair, add to that second one, twist it over, Grab another piece, add to that top one, twist it over, add another little bit here, it's pulling my skin, mm -hmm. twist it over and just keep going like that until your desired length. So it'll kind of give, if you can kind of see it. That sort of effect. And then you can just like bobby pin it down or keep going, do it on both sides and then braid it in the back or, you know, something fun like that. I'm not very good at doing the sort of like braids or French braids in the front because it's weird angles and stuff. Uh, I can do the regular French braid in the back, even do the Dutch braid, but I can't for my life do the bangs French braid. That's one alternative that can get your hair off on the sides without, like, out of your face without getting too complicated, but having a little bit of pizzazz there. Another thing I usually do is, like, I'll comb my hair back. I like using big clips like this because, like I said, my hair isn't thick. I just have a lot of it. And sometimes just bobby pins doesn't work to put it back the way I want it. So like these big clips are good. Uh, I'm trying to look for other stuff besides bows. This is the one from American Apparel. But I find it gives it a, a bit of a different effect than bobby pins. Like it can still be loose and have like some nice wave going on while your hair is still kind of down. Besides that, I usually wear my hair is straight, it's usually parted, and then like I'll clip the bangs back again. When it's straight, I wear it in a ponytail, not usually when it's wavy. I'll wear it in a bun, and I do my usual really loose braid on the side that looks kind of goofy, but that's the way I do it. Um, I'll put a link in the comment box thing down there. Uh, for the site called Refinery29, it's a fashion blog with fashion advice as well as beauty tips. So I'll put the link for the hair trend page. Um, but yeah, besides that, you know, just play around with it. Have a whole bunch of different hair accessories and see whatever works best for you. I hope that helped a little.